Well, 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 welcome, America. The Biden regime and the Biden campaign. Oh, 877-381-3811. When they think they're very clever, they put out conditions for a debate. They figured Trump wouldn't accept. They put these conditions out to try and change the subject. From inflation, skyrocketing grocery costs, gasoline costs, automobile costs, housing costs, interest rates, inflation, pro-Hamas, and the rest. And so, I'll read those conditions to you shortly, but I have therefore decided there should be some conditions that are placed on Biden. So here are my conditions. Number one, Biden must leave his false teeth in the glass on the bathroom sink. Number two, Biden must not take any performance-enhancing drugs within 24 hours of the debate. Number three, before the debate, Biden must demonstrate he can walk a straight line without tipping over. Number four, no bathroom breaks. Biden will have to rely on his depends. Number five, the first time Biden slurs his speech, he will be forced to take a breathalyzer test. Number six, Biden must be required to spell words he actually uses, like democracy, autocracy, and Netanyahu. Number seven, the debate must be held before Biden's 6 p.m. bedtime. Number eight, if Biden touches a little girl or sniffs her hair, he will be immediately disqualified. What do you think? What do you think, Mr. Producer? I think I should add a few more before I post them, don't you? As a matter of fact, Mr. Call Screener, are you awake out there? Is it Stefan? Or Christian? Christian, open the call board. Any suggestions without cuss words? I have never done this before, but I am really curious. On debate conditions... That should be imposed on Joe Biden. What do you think, Mr. Producer? Here's the conditions that uh, the Biden regime placed on having a debate. They thought they were very clever, and immediately Trump says, okay. But they're still bad. You can see these are conditions that all help Joe Biden. Let's see. Here we are. Let me uh, get this here. I'm reading this from Fox News. Um, no audience. No audience. Isn't that typical of his campaign rallies? No audience? See, Biden's very uncomfortable when people are actually in front of him watching. Biden's campaign heavily criticized the Presidential Debate Commission for making debates huge spectacles with large audiences... And it's letter to the organization. See, he's always trashing everybody else. The new debates between Trump and Biden must take place in a television studio with just the candidates and the moderator present. The debate should be conducted for the benefit of the American voters watching on television and at home, not as entertainment for an in-person audience with raucous or disruptive partisans and donors who consume valuable debate time with noisy speeches of approval or jeering. Yeah, come on now. He's the bubble president. You know, he's, he's the bubble man. As was the case with the original, original televised debate in 1960, a television studio with just the candidates and moderators is a better, more cost-efficient way to proceed, focus slowly on the interests of the voters the campaign wrote. That wasn't the original debate anyway. I've always argued for Lincoln-Douglas formats. Now, what else? Biden says the debate must be one versus one with no third-party candidates. Same did Robert F. Kennedy Jr., a long-shot independent candidate, who's nevertheless made his presence known in polls. Not only that, but Kennedy has been shown to be more effective at leeching Democratic voters than Republican ones, making him an outsized threat to Biden. So Biden, as always, is trying to condition the debates. He wants Trump put in prison. He wants to clear the field. 
The debate should be one-on-one, you see, allowing voters to compare the only two candidates with any statistical chance of prevailing in the Electoral College and not squandering debate time on candidates with no prospect of becoming president, wrote his campaign. Kennedy condemned the requirement in a post on Twitter, accusing both Trump and Biden of colluding to block him from the debate stage. By the way, have you noticed, Mr. Producer, some conservatives in the media used to embrace Kennedy and promote Kennedy? I never did. I never liked the guy. I told you what he was. Now all of a sudden have turned on him. Have you noticed that? It's so weird. He was on all these shows. And, oh, look at that. I said, why are you giving this guy FaceTime? You know what? He's a radical leftist. Oh, but look, Mark. I'm not... No, no. But I guess they learn their lesson hard as they always do. Limited news outlets. Biden's demands limit the number of major news outlets that can host a 2024 presidential debate. It should be hosted by any broadcast organization that hosted a Republican primary debate in 2016 in which Donald Trump participated. And a Democratic primary debate in 2020 in which President Biden participated. You know, they must have worked on this for like five days, Mr. Producer. How can we make demands that help our candidate? And yet sounds so reasonable. So neither campaign can assert that the sponsoring organization is obviously unacceptable. This is from the campaign. If both candidates have previously debated on their airwaves, then neither could object to such venue, the campaign said. This rule set limits the networks, listen to this, that can actually host a debate to CNN, ABC, CBS, or Telemundo. What what a fascist pig this guy is, seriously. No audience, only the media he likes. Got it so far. Candidates' mics must mute after time expires. Biden's campaign blasted the Presidential Debate Commission for allowing extensive crosstalk and interruptions during the 2020 debates between Trump and Biden. They now demand that both candidates' microphones be muted once their allotted speaking time expires. Now, the problem with that is this isn't Oxford University debating rules. This is a presidential debate, and some of the smartest lines come off the cuff during the interaction. He wants no interactions. None. There should be firm time limits for answers. An alternate turns to speak so that the time is evenly divided, and we have an exchange of views, not a spectacle of mutual interruption. A candidate's microphone should only be active when it is his turn to speak, to promote adherence to the rules and orderly proceedings. Wants to control the setting. Wants to control who asks the questions. That is which media can appear, friendly, left-wing, Biden, Democrat Party media. Wants to control how the questions are answered. No direct interaction. The letter to the President of the Debate Commission criticized the organization for being unable to learn willing to enforce the rules of the 2020 debates. The result was far from, indeed, entirely inconsistent with the orderly and informative process. The voters deserved in 2020 and should be able to be expect in 2024, they wrote. Well, Trump has accepted Biden's debate offer despite the restrictions. Now, the first encounter scheduled for January 27 is to be hosted by CNN. Trump said, I'm ready, willing to debate Crooked Joe at the two proposed times in June and September. I would strongly recommend more than two debates and for excitement purposes, a very large venue, although Biden is supposedly afraid of crowds, it's only because he doesn't get them. Just tell me when I'll be there. Let's get ready to rumble. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, guess who the two debate moderators will be at that CNN debate, should it happen, Mr. Producer? Jake Tapper and Dana Bash. The two Hamasers. Jake Tapper is a phony fraud and a fake. Dana Bash has the IQ of a squirrel. Gee, that won't be too biased. That won't be too biased, right, fake? Right, basher? Wait a minute. Dana Bash 
and Jake Tapper. Well, you get the point. 